Hey everyone, my name's Silver, welcome back to the channel, and today guys, we got the trial deck openings. So last night was Monday night, my trial decks were delivered to me, and today I'm going to be posting two videos, one of each trial deck. So, um, I hope you guys enjoy, and yeah, let's get into it. We are going to, psych, we're not going to start off with Blaster Blade, we're going to start off with Overlord, because it's the first one going out, so... Yeah, um, got my trusty dusty scissors here to open it on camera. Um, so, boop, and, uh, boop, alrighty. So, like I said, it is Tuesday the 5th, I believe, three days before these are supposed to be released. I'm not going to divulge where... I got mine, but I did pre-order them, and they were shipped and sent to me early. So let's go over with the basic stuff that we got here. It looks fairly simplistic. Alrighty. Starting off, we have the uh, first the uh, guide to how to play and all the new, how everything works now, effect-wise. Um, obviously, it opens up, and you can read it from step one all the way over to, um, the final step. Uh, I remember back when these used were a complicated folding system. And we also got the mat. So if we take a look here, it's probably going to be nothing super special for this first series. It's just the old standard mat. Which I really can't show all that well on my uh, camera, but hey. And then if we flip this over, it tells you the best strategies for the deck and stuff like that. How to best use the cards in here. So pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna get into the deck now, which is sealed in here. So I'm hoping for some... Awesome pulls, some hot stamps. So I believe, are these the, no, those are not the gifts. So, I'm assuming the gifts are at the front here. Wait, are they? No, the gifts are at the back. So once again, Bushiro is doing us a sin and giving us the back of the standard card fight card where it should have been the gift backing like japan probably got um so uh the force mark as you guys know when i when acquired put this on your van or rear and until un and the unit on the circle gets 10k during your turn you may put it on a circle that the same circle the the attack stacks too so we get two of these and one overlord which is not hawk stamped but i do like this so um, my goal is to eventually get one character card for every gift I can, and then just run different ones. So, like, I'll be running Overlord as well in my Blaster deck. So, pretty nice overall. Like the gift mark system. Don't like the name entirely, but I'll live. Next, we get one Overlord. Um, did we get... Oh, wow. You get two foils. You get this foil and... This one foiled. I didn't know that. It's kind of nice. I guess that sort of sets up the whole possible hot stamped. But they're, they're the same unit. There's two different arts. Um, I really like this that now that both these are foiled. Because I thought only one would have been. But yeah. It's actually kind of nice. Um, I like this art better. This art is okay. So you get four overlords as stated. None of them are signed, so we didn't get lucky there, but hey. So for Overlords, um, I guess I'll go over what the main stuff does. It has the Force Mark, uh, Counter Blast 1, or no, Soul Blast 1, this unit gets 10k, and then when this unit attack hits, Counter Blast 1, discard 2 cards from hand, and this unit gets to stand again with a minus 1 drive. Standard Overlord stuff. We get 4 Crescent Dragons. Pretty standard backup card. 
Um, when this unit attacks a Vanguard, if your opponent has three or less rear guards, it gets 5k. Don't entirely understand why they gave this thing the gift mark, but they did, so. Um, nice emergency ride, I guess. We also get four, right? No, three Dragon Armor Knights. We get four of my favorite card, Nahalem. So, which is Counterblast 1, choose one of your points in the back row and retire it, get 5k. Then we have the Embodiment of Shield, pretty standard, um, sorry, give me a second. It's driving me nuts at this point. With limited space, should really be doing this. So, yeah, um, get another... Three copies of the Embodiment of Shield, 10k Beat Stick. You also get one Griff, or you don't get one, but you get four copies of the Griffin PG from the Caravan deck. So these are the PGs you get standard for this. Um, these are going to be something you ditch right away for the new draw triggers. You get four Dragon Monk Gojus. Um... When it boosts and you have more rear guards than your opponent, it gets 3k. This is another card you're probably going to ditch right away. You get four copies of Bar, or no, three. Oh, you're probably going to want to run four or three. But it's uh, when this unit's placed, Soul Blast and Counter Blast. Choose one of your opponent's grade two or less rear guards in the same column as this. Retire it, and if you have more rear guards than your opponent until end turn, this gets 5k. This is sort of going to be a card you keep. It's pretty good. It helps control the field. Following that, you get a Dragon Knight. Um, if you have four more rear guards, pay cost. Um, Soul Blast 1, put this into Soul. Choose one of your opponent's rear guard, retire it, and choose one of your rear guards, give it 10k. Not a bad card. Um, I don't see a lot of use for it in the meta. Moving on to grade zeros, you get your starter, Lizard Runner Undo, and when Road Upon, you get to draw a card, which I really like better than just moving it back. You keep the soul, and you get to plus one on first turn. You get four copies of the Embodiment of Spear Tar, no specialty, four copies of Dragon Mage, or Demonic Dragon Mage. You get your four copies of Red Gem Carbuncle, which you're going to ditch for the new draw trigger. And then you get your four... Um, you get Dragon Monk Goju. You get four of those. And then... Oh, wow. I didn't realize that these other two cards actually came in the back as foils. That's kind of cool. Huh. So I guess you do get a Dragon Knight, a, dra an, a Dragon Armored Knight, and an Embodiment of Bar foiled. Hmm, that's kind of cool. Is that random or, I mean, cool? So yeah, um, now I have to count the cards and make sure they're 50 because you should not be at this many pluses of four. But no, that's kind of cool that they give you all of this. Overall, I think the value of the deck is worth what you spend on it. I spent about $20 on each of my decks. And overall, they give you quite a bit, quite a good number of foils. I mean, again, you get two foiled overlords. You And you get two foiled units that I didn't even know you got foiled. So, um, I consider picking this deck up if you're a Kagero player. The new force marks do look nice. I'm just disappointed with how the back looks. You heard it here first, folks. The back is like G-Units. Disappointing. But overall, I think I will be um, playtesting with this deck a little bit. It's not the deck, or it's not the clan I personally main. But my roommate does, and he likes it. And when the Q4 set drops, we will be playtesting... With, um, 
what's it called, playtesting with complete decks. So let me know what you guys think and leave your guys' deck list down in the description below and I will see about actually playing it. So yeah, until next time guys, I've been the Silver Wolf and I'll see you all later. Peace.